EIT is an acronym for Engineer in Training. It's a six-month intensive program that takes mostly new college graduates to our facility in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. They're going to uh, receive training that's going to give them skills to uh, do their jobs in the uh, technical world of industrial automation. Um, it's also going to give them a sense of the culture of the company and uh, some basic work skills, uh, so organization, understanding how to attack problems. It gives us a good base for individuals to move up into the organization in other parts. They're uh, so broad-based that they really do allow us to have an employee that uh, could grow in service organization or on up into control products and solutions, so I see future leaders in the company in the IT. The program splits into really three parts. The first 15 weeks are what we refer to as the core program. In those 15 weeks, we introduce the engineers to everything they ever wanted to know about Rockwell Automation. The last two weeks, we actually do what we refer to as a final project. The specifications are given to the engineers, and as teams, they develop a complete application um, utilizing all the knowledge that they've gained over the course of the first 13 weeks. It takes a lot of team building, and there's a lot of downtime, and you have to try to reduce that. Uh, it takes a lot of time to fix problems, and you just need to plan for everything. The biggest surprise in the program was how hands-on everything was, that it was lab-based, that it was hardware-based, and it was a good surprise that the field experience is very similar to that. I just basically told them that, you know, I want to get my hands dirty, you know. I've been in the classroom for the past four to five years, you know, just simulations after simulations. I want to actually go out there and, you know, see these things in action. At the conclusion of those 15 weeks, part two is a one-week field assignment where these engineers will go to their eventual field location where they'll be deployed to spend uh, a week with their new boss, their new colleagues, and really to find a place to live, get comfortable with the community to which they're relocating. Um, and they spend a week, and in many cases, they'll do uh, some call-out during that, that period of time as well. So they'll actually visit customers and engage with customers. The third piece of the program is the advanced program. It comes in one of five courses of study, drives, motion, software, process, or safety. We go really, really in-depth into those advanced technologies. Clearly this program has a couple capabilities on it, I think, that uh, provides them or gets them ready to be future leaders of the company. Number one, and having started my, in my own career in, in field uh, services, it gives them a broad understanding of the corporation. When you get with the EIT program and you see all the things that we're teaching them today, all the capabilities that they get put forth in front of them that they can learn from and then the fact that they get out in the field and get a chance to apply that. It's just a broad base understanding that I think gives them an advantage over those that start in a business unit. It really gives you the confidence to go out in the field and work on any project that comes up. Even if you're not entirely comfortable, you know that you can go out there, you can draw on your resources and you know you have the background to succeed. It's not uh, only technical. You, you learn also to work with, uh, with the customers, how to deal with them, how to understand them, how to really to know what their needs and not only what they think they want. It's quite a big program, not only training and equipment. There was a few field trips. Uh, one was to Middle Steel, which was a steel manufacturing place. All of the instructor's background was real-world experiences, real-world projects, working with customers, working in the field, and all the experiences that they drew on to teach us about the Rockwell products were based on those experiences, so it was kind of like we were in the field as well. It's knowledge based on years of experience, and these uh, EIT students are taught by some of the recognized leaders in the industry. These are people with years and years of experience, understanding both how the equipment works, what it does for customers, and also how to teach. If you are coming from the school, you just uh, finished the uh, degree, you come, you learn a lot, you'll have a very big experience and uh, you learn from the other international and EITs. Just the caliber of people that we get out of the EIT program today allows us to be more successful with our customers uh, than any time I can remember. The second thing that we do is it creates an employee that uh, we can move throughout the organization because the fundamentals that they learn in the program give them the capability to uh, grow in their careers as well. They're a continuous source of new talent. So these are engineers coming out of some of the top 
top schools in the country with already a great foundation and they're learning how to apply that into the specific world of automation and they're also coming in with a strong sense of the values of Rockwell Automation, our overall commitment to customers. Our customers today are looking for more value from Rockwell Automation, not just product or services. And with the um, amount of training and the uh, breadth that we give these uh, EIT uh, employees, it allows them to go out and really provide a true value proposition to our customers and solve their business issues. If you look at the customer's requirements today, they're not looking for somebody just to sell them product. They're really looking for someone to help make them more successful in business. Well, when you make our customers more successful, it makes you more successful. It's just that simple.